friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. So now that we've gotten the pilot episodes out of the way, The Ticket Master kicks off a three-part story arc, which will be continued and suited for success midway through Season 1, and be concluded in the Season 1 finale, The Best Night Ever. It opens with a letter from Princess Celestia with two tickets enclosed. Hear ye, hear ye! Her Grand Royal Highness, Princess Celestia of Equestria. <laughs> Celestia of Equestria. You'd think she'd come up with a better way to address herself. Cordially extends an invitation to Twilight Sparkle plus one guest. The Grand Galloping Gala! But anyway, it's pretty easy to see where this is gonna go. Naturally, all five of Twilight's friends want to go to the gala, but there's only two tickets. I'd love to go. Applejack wants to open up a stand and sell some of her baked goods because there's a lot of money to be made there. Uh, I wouldn't think you would need a ticket for that. Wouldn't you just have to talk to someone who is in charge of the gala? Oh, fuck it, it's a kid show. I wouldn't fuss over that barn too much. It's not gonna last. I like how replacing Granny Smith's hip gives her an entirely new character design. Also, I just noticed that there are tennis balls on her walker. Nice touch. <laughs> about the Grand Galloping Gala, and I just happen to hear that you have an extra ticket. Oh my god, too much cute. I cannot handle it. Rainbow Dash thinks it'd be a good way to rub elbows with the Wonderbolts. Hi, Lyra. You've gotta take me! And this is the second of many instances in which Applejack will grab Dashy by the tail with her teeth. It's, it's just a thing. Oh yeah, pitting these two against each other is never a good idea. So who are you going to give the ticket to, Twilight? I don't know, Spike, but I really can't think straight when I'm hungry. So where should we eat? Pinkie Pie is like the Kramer of this show. She never makes a normal entrance. Anyway, she wants to go because she thinks it'll be just one huge party. Grand Galloping Gala? It's the most amazing, incredible, tremendous, super bump, wonderful, terrifically humongous party in all the Equestria. I've always, always, always wanted to go. Oh, the Grand Galloping Gala. Also, second musical number ever, although it barely counts. It's more like she's kind of singing to herself, really. It's the best place for me, for Pinky. Yeah, I don't think she knows what a gala is. I think if some pony had just explained to her that it's where ponies get dressed up and do nothing but mingle and slow dance, she would have given up her running for the ticket in a heartbeat. Oh, look at Spike freaking out when Rarity gets all close. That is just precious. It's where I truly belong. And where I'm destined to meet him! Rarity wants to impress ponies and meet the nephew of Princess Celestia, Prince Blueblood. Our eyes would meet. Our hearts would melt. Um, excuse me, Twilight. Fluttershy wants to check out the garden that surrounds the gala and make friends with all the animals. Again, I wouldn't think you'd need a ticket for that, but whatever. So basically, each of Twilight's friends thinks that going to the gala will be the best thing that ever happened to them. Rainbow Dash will become a Wonderbolt. Applejack will make a fortune, Rarity will become royalty, Pinkie Pie will, uh, get to party, and Fluttershy will, um, make friends with more animals. Uh, it's all relative to what's important to that particular character. <laughs> and then I said, Oatmeal, are you crazy? Oh. Things start to get a bit ugly, so Twilight puts her hoof down and demands some time alone to think it over. Now go on! Shoot! You go, girl. So as Twilight is agonizing over this decision she has to make, suddenly all her friends have done a 180 and are suddenly being extra nice. Trying to bribe her, basically. By the way, Rainbow Dash's bit kicks off two awesome visual gags. You're not trying to get extra consideration for the extra ticket by doing the extra special favors, are you? i do it for any bone! Blows up that rain cloud right now. Ugh, fine. That's better. <gasps> Rarity gives a makeover in typical Rarity fashion. Oh, no pun intended. I mean, thank you, but. Oh. Why are we hearing power tools? There. Oh, you're simply darling. This is all looking good, Twilight. Looking real good. I love how Applejack slips in a reference to another relative. And Apple Brown 
bed. Uh, the dessert, not my Annie. Ugh, I never thought being showered with favors would be so aggravating. Fluttershy has cleaned the library. Fluttershy, not you too. Surprise! And Pinkie Pie lets it slip to the whole freaking town that Twilight has the extra ticket. God damn it, Pinky. Hugh Benny Hill reference. Hi, Bon Bon. Hi, Derby. Lock the doors! Okay, that's sad that she has to lock herself up and hide from every pony. Wow, I actually kind of feel her anxiety at this point. I'm kind of glad this episode is almost over. If it went on much longer, it might start to piss me off. Finally, they realize what jerks they've been, and they all decide that none of them wants the ticket. Yes! That means the ticket is mine! I got the ticket! I got the ticket! Except for Dashy, at first. You know, I haven't perfected my signature moves for the Wonderbolts anyway. So Twilight writes a letter to Princess Celestia where she gracefully declines the invitation to the gala and sends back the tickets. What? If my friends can't all go, I don't want to go either. And I love Celestia's reaction. Why didn't you just say so in the first place? Predictable, but funny and true. Now we can all go! Yeah. Come on, everyone! The cupcakes are on me! Uh, word of advice, never accept cupcakes from Pinkie Pie. And one for you, Spike. <laughs> oh my god, that face. I mean, gross! I have to go too? And so ends the Ticketmaster. Overall, it's a pretty solid episode. Yes, every pony is kind of an asshole, but none of them are really out of character about it. The Grand Galloping Gala is the sort of event that not just any pony can go to. It's a big deal, probably the equivalent of being invited to the White House. So it's not hard to imagine being so focused on getting that ticket that you'd end up being less than kind to the friend who has it. In theory, an easy solution would have been for Twilight to just ask for more tickets. And sure, Twilight and Princess Celestia are close, but they still have a pretty professional relationship, and one does not simply ask favors from royalty. I think it's completely reasonable that the idea of asking for more tickets was the furthest thing from Twilight's mind. And as far as just declining the invitation in the first place, again, we're dealing with royalty and Twilight is very proper. It would probably be considered rude to decline. So yeah, Twilight was put in a very difficult position. Her friends acted badly, but in the end, every pony learns to not lose sight of what's important. Next up will be Apple Buck season. See you next time. Raining? No. Really?